What's up guys? The journey starts today. Now recently I bought a stock TRX. As of now, I haven't done any mods to it really. Nothing major. I uh, upgraded the exhaust, of course the exhaust. I did a JMB intake, but nothing crazy out there, especially for you mod freaks. 705 horsepower, 650 pounds of torque. It has a 6.2 liter supercharged engine, also known as the Hellcat, as we like to say on the streets. So the plan is, is to get this stock Sandblast Limited Edition TRX to over 1,000 horsepower. I can't do it on my own, so I reached out to some of the very best in the business. I am headed to Sacramento, California to visit my boys at Overkill, who are going to turn this thing into the Demon TRX. Let's go. Five and a half hours, LA to Sacramento to see the boys at Overkill. A lot of beef jerky, a lot of big gulps. We left at 6 a.m., but we made it. I'm so excited, man. All right, Josh, one of the reasons I came to you because you are a TRX owner. You've yes. done what I want to do to my truck, to exactly. yours. Exactly. So you have the 900 package here. You have the SMB intake, which Correct. I absolutely love with the Ram Air. That's filthy. So you actually not only do it to other people's trucks, you do it to your truck. Absolutely. I think that's the biggest thing when you go down the list, just like when we were running the times we were doing with the Trackhawk. I went out and bought my own Trackhawk back in you know 2018 yep. and wanted to be a pioneer, so I used my own vehicle. No different than using the TRX, the same thing. So this is our 900 package. We use a closed air intake system that utilizes the ram air and everything else along with the rest of the parts we were talking about the pulleys the You've done injectors all that to this everything's done to this one this is daily, boy moves. daily driven if you look in the back we got the car the baby seat back yep, there and everything else seat, just facts. like you yep. this the track hawk used to be my dad van yep this is the new dad the van. dad wagon right the dad wagon pull the boat this puppy can go man. it can go it can go so i'm gonna give him a pull anyway show you guys what this nine hair package can do um, we've had these packages well into the tens already, uh, and that's on average. You know, it, we're gonna show him what it really does. We'll see what his reaction is, and after that, it'll be his turn. Get right? Me. Yes. God! Oh, oh, oh. God damn! <laughs> A little different than Star. Huh? Bro, <laughs> what are we gonna do? Oh, like that? Holy <laughs> shit. You ever, you ever seen a 7,000 pound truck spin all four yeah, tires? <laughs> Bro, just a little slam yacht. God damn, that was nuts. Yeah, I mean, the crazy part too is on top of that, you have headers, yeah. the over chiller, all that exhaust. This is stock cats, stock, all that. Nuts. Still 10 second, 10 second truck. So you're going to be even crazier than this one. So after talking with Josh, my plan, and I'm sure we're going to come to agreement here, the plan is is to use their 900 kit on this, um, which would include the headers, the pulleys, uh, they're going to mess with the, the computer here as well, uh, get to over a thousand horsepower um, with all that tuning, and then uh, we'll also Right now it's up in the air whether we're gonna put springs on or just level the truck out and put on uh, bigger wheels. And then we'll also swap out the standard stock bumper here for an ADD uh, Baja bumper, uh, front and back. But uh, I think between the exhaust, the 900 kit, the bumpers, the wheels, the rims, the lifting, the leveling kit, this thing's gonna come out pretty badass. That's the plan. So, because I want to make sure that you know exactly what you're getting. Put my money where my mouth is. I want you to take the key. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. We're going to see how you feel about the 900 package. And then that way you can see firsthand what it's like. I feel you. I like it. Okay. I, I dig it. Don't kill me. Okay. I, but the anticipation of me getting my, my truck. All right. Because if I feel like if I drive yours, it's going to ruin the surprise when I come back and pick up my truck. Back.
So to start out, my boy Josh at Overkill installed American stainless headers for better airflow and maximum performance. Then added an Overkill upper custom pulley to increase the boost. We also added 1200cc injectors, a racing thermostat, and racing silver spark plugs. Then he installed a module computer tuning to handle all these crazy upgrades, putting us in excess of 1000 horsepower at the crank. With all this horsepower, we added an overchiller to keep this beast cool. Heat's definitely the enemy in this thing. And finally, to make sure we can clear the 38 inch open country Toyo tires, 18 inch method wheels, and add to the off-road performance, we added the Ebok Pro Kit, which lifted the TRX three inches in the front, one and a half inches in the back. And to top it all off, the TRX was converted to run on E85 gas for maximum performance. With all these mods, this TRX should be pretty sweet. Let's go pick it up. A couple weeks later, here you guys go. One of the baddest TRXs on the planet. Um, and we're just gonna go from there. So that's the next step from it. More power. I'm so excited, man. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Just the beginning, my brother. Awesome. Thank you, Doug. Let's Appreciate it, man. Thank awesome. you. What's up guys? So we're finally back from Sacramento, but we're not done yet. I'm here at the headquarters of Kibbe Tech and the owner Ryan has some fun stuff in store for the TRX. All right, what's up Ryan? This is the what's owner up? of Kibbe Tech. This is my boy Ryan here. Ryan, let him know what, what exactly are we doing today, boss? All right, so today we're gonna install our billet aluminum upper control arms on the front suspension here. Gives us uh, more adjustability, they're stronger and just they look a hell of a lot better. Way better. And then in the back, we're gonna do our replacement uh, link setup for the back. So it's both lower links on each side and a pan hard bar that is also adjustable. So if you get any more lift in the back, your rear end's not gonna be centered anymore. So our adjustable pan hard bar, we could center that rear end back out. And then uh, they're also all billet aluminum, uh, anodized, machined all here in house. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get all that stuff on and then uh, go have some fun. All right, let's get it done. My guy Ryan here at Kibbe Tech installed the upper arms. You can see there the rear suspension and uh, best in the business. Ryan, thank you, brother. Yeah, no problem. You're the best. Uh, I'm going to go now. I'm going to leave. All right, there it is. You guys saw me go all the way up to Sacramento at Overkill with the boys tuned this freaking TRX to over a thousand horsepower at the crank. The Active Desert Design bumpers, front and back. We got the Baja Design lights in. We got the wheels. We got the tires from Toyo. We freaking Kibbe Tech did their thing on the suspension. So we're done. We're all done. Or are we? <laughs> <laughs> 